Hello and welcome to IBC 2024 and to the Blackmagic Design booth. I'm Craig Heffernan, the Technical Sales Director for Blackmagic EMEA, and today we're going to take a look at the new Pixus Monitor. The new Pixus Monitor is a great addition to the Pixus camera for all operators and now gives us an off-board monitor that can be mounted on and around the camera and connects back via our USB-C viewfinder ports. The monitor itself is a 5-inch touchscreen. It offers 1500 nits, so it's a bright HDR screen usable for any conditions. And if you're in bright daylight, we also offer a sunshade with the monitor, which doubles up as a screen protector when the camera's in motion or you're transporting the screen. As a touchscreen, it also then gives us full access to all the menu functions of the camera, so we can actually set up and monitor the camera and we can set records or conditions of the camera as well. From mountability, you can buy the monitor just as the monitor and if you've got your own adaption to your preferred rigging systems, it will attach to it. There's a second option which allows you to buy a plate which will go to the Pixus camera and then mount through our own cold shoe and dovetail systems. Or as you can see in this configuration, we're using our Ursa viewfinder and EVF mounting and the Pixus monitor can actually be adapted to that. And in all systems, it then connects back via USB-C for data and power. The monitor has three assignable buttons which are placed on the back and they can be set up for your preferred use. And as a small lightweight solution, it's ideal for just mounting off Pixus to front or rear and giving an operator perfect viewing control. So the Pixus monitor is connected to the Pixus camera via the front USB-C connection, also used for the EVF. Uh, it uses a non-proprietary USB cable which will provide power and data, giving us control and view. Um, there's no battery for the viewfinder, so it's powered by the camera as well. Cable is provided with the Pixus monitor, and you'll find it's also a lockable solution, so you can tighten off the cables and know that it's secure however you're using the camera and the monitor together. So Pixus was designed with a monitor to the side of the camera body that isn't articulated. We deliberately designed it that we didn't want articulation because it would add to the complexity of the build and the cost of the camera. And it's principally a confidence view if you have the camera in a tripod position like this or for accessing the menus and going through all the setup of the camera. The benefit of adding the Pixus monitor is if the camera is then mounted, if you're working with handheld gimbals or other systems, the camera body might be away from you, but the operator can choose where they position the monitor so they've got complete control over the camera system and the monitoring as well. Alternatively, if you want to, you could also use the SDI output on the back of the camera, so you could take this back to a larger monitor or a monitoring position on set, so the camera operator has the Pixus monitor for direct view, and then the rest of the crew or a DIT can actually use the SDI output from the camera and take that back as well. Absolutely, so the USB cable could be up to five meters um, and gives us control through the touch screen and all the menu systems of the camera. So if you've got a camera position that's slightly further away or you're using it on a, on a train, for example, you can still use the Pixus monitor for your view of the camera's position, but likewise a remote control for all of the camera features. The menu system is exactly the same as you'll find in the camera. It's an extension of the camera's own uh, side monitor to a portable and remote system. So you get full access and full viewing of what the camera's status is and full control of the camera at a distance. Pixus Monitor will be shipping later in the year and we have three options that you will find as mentioned. Uh, monitor only will be 315 euros. The option that includes base paint and the dovetail mounting systems is 465. And then if you want to take the EVF monitoring mount system and the dovetail for the camera, that will take you to 669 euros.